to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you the herringbone stitch. Here I have an example of a herringbone stitch. It's a permanent stitch that is used on hemlines, sewing interfacing and also works well with knit and stretch fabrics. Now it's a stitch that allows movement Hence the reason why it's particularly good on stretch and knit fabric and that is what I'm going to show you how to do. This is a stitch that travels from left to right. So I'm going to be placing my needle into the upper section of the work and picking up a couple of strands, pull my needle through and then I'm going to go to the lower section at a slight angle picking up a couple of strands, bring a needle through and there you have the stitch. I'll show you one more time, I'll show you a couple more times actually. Pick up a couple of strands, so I'm working on the upper section, pull my needle through and I'm going at a, an angle on the lower section, picking up a couple of strands, pulling my needle through and there's a stitch. I'll just do one more. You keep it about one centimetre, five eighths of an inch width in between each stitch, couple of strands, and taking a little bit more there so you can see. And the lower section, couple of strands, and pull through. And you just keep working all the way along. It's a very quick and effective stitch to use, and it's very versatile. So that's the herringbone stitch. I'm going to show you a couple more bigger stitches so you get a, a better view of what I'm doing. So remember, I'm just taking up a couple of strands here, pulling your needle through, and that's the upper layer, and then I'm going to go down to the lower layer. And it'll be just picking up a couple of strands, pull your needle through as you see it working towards the left, pull it through. And you go diagonally to the upper layer, a couple of strands, pull it through. You don't really have to work it, it, it will do what you want it to do as long as you're following the direction of which the needle is going, needs to go, and pull it through. So there we have the herringbone stitch. It's a quick and easy versatile stitch for any sewing project. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put it in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.